Death penalty experts are now weighing in on Governor Kay Ivey's call to extend the amount of time the state could carry out executions. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis is joining us live from the Capitol studio. And Aaron, what are these experts saying that the governor is missing in her request? Well, Val, asking for more time to complete an execution will mean successful executions, but critics say it won't fix competency issues when establishing an execution line, and it still doesn't answer the question of why this is not an independent investigation. Governor Kay Ivey asked the Alabama Supreme Court for more time to complete executions, but some say adding more time won't solve the state's problems. The amount of time that is allotted to carry out an execution has got nothing to do with the competence of the team that carries it out. Last month, Ivey ordered a top to bottom review of the execution process. Two recent executions had to be called off, either because of last minute legal challenges or trouble establishing an IV line. I think anybody of conscience uh, wants prisoners to be tortured to death. Robert Dunham oversees the Death Penalty Information Center, a nonprofit that analyzes death penalty issues. He says the investigation itself should be questioned. If you have a system that's secretive uh, and you have a review that is not transparent, uh, then it doesn't do a lot to restore public confidence. The ACLU of Alabama, quote, urges the state to shift this review to an independent third party to ensure a transparent and thorough process, end quote. But there is no estimate on how long the process will take. Depends in part on how serious the investigation is, how seriously the Department of Corrections uh, responds uh, to the suggestions, uh, and uh, how serious and extensive the problems actually are. And Dunham says an execution review in Oklahoma took years due to secrecy, and Ivy has not been available for comment since her most recent update on this process. Val? All right, thanks a lot, Aaron. In the meantime, the two Alabama inmates that are currently on death row are now in limbo as they await their dates for their respective executions.